Morning. We're uh, cycling into Copenhagen. We've just walked to the edge of our site. This is uh, the view from the edge of where we're staying. Uh, hopefully, the cycling <coughs> is as good. We shall see. So, onwards and upwards. Down in in 500 meters, we, uh, turn right. Do today. They come on cycle on the path. That'd be a bit easier. Seems like the kids are having a go at fishing. I think somebody's teaching them. <laughs> That's quite cool, that little somewhere for the kids to learn. Uh, not sure what bit we're supposed to be on. Uh, we'll see. But I must admit, I am so far liking it. So you can't knock it so far. An awful lot of people about this morning. to the left them round buildings. I presume the green flag is for uh, oh, people exercising. Right, then slide left. I've noticed a lot of uh, in Scandinavia when you get a lot of the older people walking, they um, tend to use slide left proper walking um, attire. In 600 meters, turn left onto Lagunebroen. Well, I am really liking the cycle thing. There's a, like a gym here, I don't know if you noticed that as I went past. We, we've got like that canopy over the top, like a gazebo. There's a, a training area. And um, there's a water polo court to me right looks like basketball on water but that's uh, for water polo I think and a uh, canoeist so a lot of Scandinavians are really into at least trying to stay in reasonable shape Yesterday I set off at a fair old rate yesterday, but uh, not today, just a nice steady pace. How beautiful is it? Christine's just commenting on how beautiful it is. Uh -huh. uh, there's a little bit of off roady bit now on sand, so I don't know whether Christine's going to do this, so I'm going to cut across the grass onto the path like that yeah we struggle on the sand turn left 
left onto Lagunebro and then turn right onto Amar Strandvai. Trouble with the map, apart from it, it giving you some bum directions when the sun shines on your. Uh, turn right onto Amar screen. Strandvai. You can't see properly. So becomes really quite difficult to on see what it's uh, telling you to do. Just check Christine got across, and she did. Uh, I must admit, I mean, since we've set off, I've seen three toilets, which is a, a good thing. So far, it's uh, not been too bad at all. But we're just taking it easy. There are a lot of things to see today. So, uh, it should be quite a long video. I might do it in two hours. So I might do half of it. And then when I get to McDonald's for my dinner, I might try and upload that half of it then so you might get uh, a couple of videos one as a half for dinner time and then another one uh, because the internet is quite poor where we are I could do the other one probably on the move tomorrow which I've done with a couple of videos uh, took a while to go on, but they have gone on. So a bit of beach football there. And then you've got uh, beach volleyball. Beach volleyball seems to be quite big in Europe. You know, in Belgium they've got it. It's at Lenick where we stop. Uh, we've seen it just about everywhere we've been. We don't see it in the UK. What day is it today? I do think it's been a really good buy, A getting bikes and B changing over to the electric which has just been able to give us that little bit of a boost when we've needed it. What you say? Are they? Yeah. Christine said that fellow we just passed with the treader push bike um, have got clogs on. So there's been an awful lot of people enjoying the morning. It's not a weekend, it's only what day is it? Wednesday, Wednesday today, so the people starting work late or they're not working plenty of spaces there to park your bikes Pardon? 
so far. This is the no it isn't. I've missed the cycle path, it's next to us. So I need to uh, get onto the cycle path, which I'll do at this ramp. So uh, I'll get on here. That's it. ever seen these big prams before but they usually have them at nurseries so they can take uh, several children in one go they have them in the UK those as well I met I'm just as impressed with this as we stock own so far got the sniffles again from the uh, tiny bit of road that we uh, had to do it mostly been like this really nice really really nice pleasant easy going turn right onto Clovermarks right then turn left if we can get this right this time so we go on to here and then on to here Christine's impressed that she managed to turn the corner turn left then turn left okay. I think we're uh, Turning left here. I'm going to get off, it's easier. Through there. I think. Yep, through here. So Back on again. All right. Okay. Kids have got a campfire going in there, Christine said. Across this bridge, which no doubt Christine will want to take photos on. Turn left, then turn so, right. Uh, I will stop in the middle. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Oh, 
you can see uh, down both sides of the canal waterway. Really nice. I'll walk, we'll walk this bit over the bridge so you can see it. Turn left, then turn right. So we're, we're back on again here. Oh, missed the pedal. <laughs> All right. Turn right, then turn left at Mile Cabotton. Right. Christie's not ready. Okay. You've got a slow bump to slow you down on your bike. Turn left at Milkerbottom, then turn left at Milkerbottom. Turn left at Milkerbottom, then turn right. Turn right, then turn left. Wait for Christine. To wait for her. Photos. Right, we go over the bridge again. Oh, really nice, I must have met. In 200 metres, continue on to Trangravsby. I don't know where Christine is, I think I've lost her again. Just have to uh, She just says she's turned up. Yeah, Christine just noticed. She said the kids do an awful lot of stuff outdoors for the kids. Said uh, they had uh, campfires and all sorts of things that they've been doing. Fishing. Fishing. Continue on to Trangravsby, then turn left to stay on Trangravsby. No. I must admit, I am super impressed with these cycleways. Really, really impressed. Turn left to stay on Trangravsby, then turn left. I'm not sure where Christine is, I've lost her again. Yeah. 
Oh, you're behind me. Yeah. I, I didn't know where you were. So, uh, beautiful cycle ride in. Absolutely glorious. And I'm loving the bridges. Turn left towards Inderhowensbro and then turn right. So we're going to do another one now. Turn right towards Inderhowensbro and then and continue straight gorgeous. onto Inderhowensbro. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really enjoying this. Really, really enjoying it. It's probably the most stunning bike ride of getting into a city or around a city we've had. I thought Stockholm Continue was straight good, onto Inderhowen's Bruin. But this is in a different class this. This is absolutely brilliant. In 200 meters, continue on to Nyhaven. Bit downhill. Don't know if you can see in front. Um, I think Christina wants some pictures, so I'll just stop here while we uh, do a couple of pics. Just so you get a little bit of a look around. What about that? That is just absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see down there. Fantastic. That's been the most amazing ride so far. Absolutely brilliant. And we never made a mistake. Okay, we just walked up on the bridge a little bit and now we're at the top because it's a little bit easier. I can get back on again now. So, back on, ready? Yeah. And then down the other side of the bridge. Looks like uh, there's a bit of road to do now. Uh, judging by the cyclist I can see in front. Continue on to Nyhaven, then turn right onto Nyhaven's Broen. How beautiful is that? That is absolutely Turn right onto Stunning. Nyhaven's Bro and then turn left onto oh. Nyhaven. Turn left onto Nyhaven, then you will arrive at your destination. So, I will get off here. Yeah, we need to get off here anyway. We're having a look uh, down the call this uh, Nyhaven. So, I think this is where some of the old boats uh, are kept. There's a uh, Obviously, a trip that takes you around the canal areas of Copenhagen. Uh, the buildings are really quite colourful and quite spectacular along here. So it's, it's a beautiful 
front. There you go, Nyhaven. Some of the uh, old sailing vessels. Because it says on them. Beautiful around here, it's a gorgeous day. Found a good day again. Yeah. We've been really lucky with the weather and now we've planned it and timed it. along here very 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 nice just walking back walking back to the bikes now so this is uh, that street from the opposite side it used to be the red light district of uh, Copenhagen and now is uh, a trendy area of restaurants and bars Really nice, beautiful. Uh, we're having a bit of a walk today along the uh, seafront. Um, we're going to uh, have a look at what is a little mermaid, and uh, I think there's a couple of other things that are in the park. But it is definitely a beautiful place, Copenhagen. So uh, there's uh, Michelangelo's David. Obviously, it's a copy. People can uh, pay to have a little bit of a thing on that, it's uh, Polish. Not sure what's going on here. There's a new hotel, old oh, campus, so it's be part of the university that they're doing there. This is uh, gorgeous day I think that's an old warship that one I don't think it's a modern one it's uh, Effie's frigate I know that must be uh, some Danish frigate I don't know I don't know one of the ferries that uh, ferry you around parts of Copenhagen. Uh, not really sure where it takes you to. Yeah. <laughs> Here, Christine says. Uh, here's one of the things that we've come to look at. It's the uh, man made out of rubbish, which is uh, quite cool. It's called uh, Zinc Global. So. Uh, just made out of bits and pieces. Recognise a ratchet strap. And various bits and bats. So it's quite cool. deep in thought bearings exhaust parts radiator parts 
really good. It looks really good. I really like that. Yeah, the man deep in thought. And that's uh, the views we've got across the the bay. Beautiful. Christine informs me. I'm not looking up that that must be King Triton because he's got a tail, and King Triton is a little mermaid's dad. And uh, I do know who that is without looking it up, just uh, to be as punch, it's as Mercury. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, Mercury. With the winged hats, yeah. So, yeah. So, well, it would make sense. Um, not sure who this fella is on here. Well, that is quite. I mean that's a proper sculpture with uh, the the water feature off it as if it's the bulls that are pulling it and the water's cool. cascading around the wheels as a to show it as if it's in motion is um, pretty close to brilliant very good kind of makes it a bit more movement also with you know, the spray that's coming out of the bull's nose as if it's uh, snorting also looks like he's pissing a little bit no oh, but uh, maybe that was by accident well that is a really really clever piece of art Fantastic that, very clever. Very, very clever. Oh yeah, I just noticed the uh, snakes as well. And the, uh, are they, that, that is brilliant. All the bulls are snorting. There's actually, if you look very carefully, you get a rainbow as well in the uh, in between the four bulls. I don't know if you could see that. Absolutely stunning, fantastic. I must admit that has to be one of the best sculptures I've ever seen. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, we're going to have a look in here, which is St Albans Church. So, not to uh, know what we're going to get, but hi. Thank you. St Alban, who was uh, an English priest, and um, there was a um, a Roman soldier who took pity on the priest, took him under his wing, and the priest told him all about Jesus and God and such like. And the Roman soldier, when the rest of the soldiers came. He pretended to be um, St. Alban 
and handed himself in and was going to be executed but because of his faith of whatever it was St Alban himself who was inspired by that what he'd done he also gave himself up and apparently the remains of St Alban are in another area in Denmark where St Alban is still held in veneration beautiful we're uh, heading now for the little mermaid we think so uh, we're only walking around so it's a bit of a walk through the park I think Uh, that's a museum, the ship over there. It's uh, it is a Day, it's a Danish frigate. Um, it was used up until about the 1990s and now serves as a museum. And uh, this is the most famous landmark in Copenhagen, which is the uh, Little Mermaid. So, tracks an awful lot of people, to be fair. So, uh, we'll go down, we'll have a look. Apparently she gets defaced quite a lot, but uh, we'll uh, see. That's, uh, famous landmark in Copenhagen. Uh, in the 1700s they uh, built these houses in Copenhagen and they're all painted uh, an orange colour so uh, or a yellow they look orange to me but uh, this is a very old part of um, Copenhagen uh, I suppose the start of the terrace houses really there's uh, quite a few streets like this it, it does go around and onto several streets people still live in them today very strange different just like walking the it's just like walking the terrace streets of uh, Manchester or Bolton on the terraces very kind of similar we're in one of the many parks that's in Copenhagen and uh, we're here to see this monument so this is uh, Hans Christian Andersen one of uh, Copenhagen's favourite songs Christian Anderson. It is a Reformation church. Um, Christian wants to have a look inside, so we're going to take a bit of a look. Um, Turn right onto Tornabuski Gate. <laughs> Thank you. 
the same thing here with, with immigration of 400 Frenchmen in that same year, but they were suppressed by the king at the time, so they said, we go, we leave Denmark, the Belgians in France, we leave Denmark for London. So ah. they, they became fi uh, high, high, uh, uh, let's say, big people in the, in the London society. You know the name Huguenot? Um. <laughs> Look at the bike parking here, the cycles. It's unbelievable. And I've never seen so many bikes. Nobody has electric ones here. I think it's probably because it's flat, there's no need for it. And it must be something that they've uh, done for ages, but. Christine. <laughs> 